Good morning, Ali B. Pack. How are you? Well, today is going to be back to back to back to back to back. First, I have to do a bunch of stuff on the computer, emails, and do some stuff actually with the YouTube channel, <laughs> ironically enough. And then in a little while, Andrea shows up. It's been a couple weeks since Andrea's been over here, and OB2 loves Andrea. I mean, like, is insanely obsessed with Andrea. So he's gonna lose his mind, and every girl just loves her to death as well. So it's gonna be fun to see when Andrea shows up here in a little while. Andrea and I are gonna meet for probably, uh, probably four or five hours and um, get a bunch of work done because we've got some crazy big things in the works. After she leaves, I have about an hour between when she leaves and Lauren shows up, and I'm gonna have to make a physical delivery of 48 two ounce bags, these little guys, to Old Harbor in East Bay Inn. They give our little two ounce bags as a guest amenity to anyone who checks in with a pet guest. And then when Lauren shows up, we have to do some YouTube stuff, as I've mentioned before, because you know what? Thank you. I had as didn't think anybody would watch. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And we have some things we need to do for the YouTube channel. She'll be here for a couple hours, um, and then I've got to finish up some things because we have another order going out to Whole Foods. Crazy busy, just back to back, but so grateful, so thankful for all the support and all the business. Can't thank you guys enough. So anyway, enough jabbering. Let's get going on the day. Let's do this. Well, you're probably wondering, given the last couple of wags, what is the follow-up and what's happening with that available space in the historic district of Savannah? I had the walkthrough, and the end of that was very positive. The landlord was very interested in Oliver Bentley's, very interested in what the company does and what we would potentially use the space for, and we both agreed that we will have a follow-up meeting. I need to build a business case. Obviously, he wants a summary of the usage of the space. It's going to be for product inventory, order fulfillment, office space, operations work. We, we, we can do special project branding, which is a fancy way of saying we can shoot YouTube videos in it. Um, we could use it, obviously, as retail space, as both a company showroom for our current products, and we can sell some select other brands for locals. It's going to act as the starting and ending point for all of our historic walking tours. And I actually talked to a friend of mine who runs the Humane Society here in Savannah, and we could even use the location for special events benefiting pet rescues. So there's a lot of potential for the space, but that's all in concept. What do the numbers actually say? And that's the revenue and cost analysis part of the report I will be giving the landlord next time we meet. And for full disclosure, complete transparency, I'm going to share with him our sales, both online, retail, and wholesale, and our tour sales, so we can see what the company is currently doing. The weak link in the revenue cost analysis is what a retail store would generate. No idea. This particular building is a little off the beaten path, so it's tough to know. But there is a museum next door. So I went to the museum next door and talked to the owner and asked him what his turnstile is every month. And he said about a 1,000 individuals come through his museum every month, which means 500 couples. Probably half of them have dogs. Maybe half would be inclined to come in the store. Maybe a third buy. And when I break the numbers down like that, I could guess my average sale. I can take worst case, best case, and pretty much generate a model of what the retail store could potentially generate, best case, worst case. So now that I've put everything down on paper and 
I've worked all the numbers out. Now I have to call the landlord and set up a second meeting and present all the numbers to him. And with full disclosure and full transparency, he'll see everything that Oliver Bentley's currently is and what we propose to do in his space and where Oliver Bentley's could grow and, and evolve into. So I'll give him a call and we'll set up a meeting. Cross your paws. Stay tuned. But for now, on with the rest of the day. As you know, we call him the mayor. <laughs> he and OB2 were having some fun. Abby girl, she's, she's, let the boys be boys. She's, yeah, Abby. Abby doesn't play reindeer games. All right, quick run over to Old Harbor and East Bay Inn. Andrea just left from the home office and Lauren is showing up in a little bit. So I gotta shake my tail and get going. Here we go. from outside it's dark long day good day very very good day thank you to everybody who calls in or sends emails um, I didn't have the camera on but um, I talked to a lot of customers today and that was cool I mean the stories run the whole gamut um, from dogs with pancreatitis to dogs with motion sickness to dogs that are just plain old finicky and don't eat anything and they love the Ollie B bites and the Ollie B biscuits. So it was a it was a long day, but it was a good day, really good day. Um, got a lot done with Andrea. Got a lot done with Lauren. Um, the whole YouTube editor, uh, Wizard of Oz. Pay no attention to the editor behind the curtain. Um, it's late. I've already fed the dogs. I need to eat something now. And um, yeah. I just want to say thank you to everybody um, that I've spoken to over the years. And today, it was great to catch up with so many people. And um, I'm babbling now, so I'm going to sign off. You know the drill. Live like somebody left the gate open. Give your pack a hug. Be kind to one another. And remember, no matter where we are or who we are, as pet parents and dog lovers, we're all united through dogs. Woof.